everyone I hope you're doing all right I hope you've had a good week um mine has been pretty decent not too much going on apart from like Microsoft Teams calls and just life admin stuff um I've had a pretty strong urge to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh this week I think I saw something on the Instagram like discover page or on stories or something um I think it was like a lo-fi version of the great fairy music and it just kind of made me want to play it again um, I'm right at the end. I've got all the Divine Beasts and I think the last time I played I was just like collecting those um, Korok seeds and like farming stuff. Um, I'm not going to spoil it in case anyone else hasn't played it and wants to but I might even play it again like start from scratch, um, start from the beginning once I've finished. Because um, yeah it is a really good game and I don't know I've just you know when you just kind of think of a game and you think oh god I really want to play that now. Uh, yeah I've just had that. It's actually my first uh, Zelda game that I've played so yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far. Anyway, enough about that and about this build. So I said in my last video that I wanted to do a base game build, either a cottage or something else. Um, I just knew that I wanted it to be base game. And I still might do another cottage because I really like building them. I find them really enjoyable to make. Um, but I posted on my Instagram story and I asked people if they would prefer a cottage or a ranch style home so I went with ranch style as that was like the most popular option and it ended up being bigger than I had initially planned but I like how it turned out nonetheless. So like I said it's a base game house that I built on a 40 by 30 lot in Newcrest. It has two bedrooms and three bathrooms. It's got quite a large garden as you'll be able to see a little bit later and it has a home office as well pretty big kitchen and like dining space um I think I also included like a bar as well uh, which you'll see later I used a couple of things from the holiday celebration pack which is a free pack that you can get uh, but if you don't have it it's not a big deal really I just use a few decorative items from that pack also sorry if you can hear my computer fan playing the video and then recording the voiceover it kind of gets the fan going a little bit but yeah, um, like I said, it's a pretty big build, so it's built on a big lot, but I obviously didn't utilise all the space for the actual house. I did have to use like some reference images for this one. Um, I tend to do that anyway. I tend to look at stuff on either like real estate sites or I'll look on Pinterest or sometimes I'll even look on Instagram and Facebook sometimes. I didn't used to look on Facebook, but um, on my sims hutch facebook page i have a, a facebook page for it which i don't use i just kind of created it when i set up my instagram to like go hand in hand with that because when you set up um a page where you can like view your insights and stuff on instagram it wants you to set up a facebook page because it's like um owned by facebook isn't it uh, instagram so yeah um sometimes when i go on that um sims hutch like facebook page uh, I'll get like recommended posts and I saw a Facebook page like recommended to me that was like different architecture and stuff so sometimes I look on that um, but it just depends really mostly I'll like look on Pinterest for ideas mainly for houses that I don't really know what they look like in real life so so in the UK at least where I live you don't really see houses that look like this so yeah to look at a couple uh, reference images I also knew that I wanted to kind of have quite a big garden um and just kind of I don't know make it look a little bit like it was more private like enclosed off I guess and have like a bit of a path leading up to the house for the landscaping um I kept it pretty simple like I, w I knew I wanted it to look I want to say like manicured but that's not the right term I don't know why that's like popped into my head but like I guess just tidy or like planned out and not just kind of like it's been done with purpose and like they've had like a professional guard come in and plant like the right flowers and stuff like that and just have it look a little bit more like tidy and structured and stuff like that so um yeah so I, I knew that I wanted to have like a path leading up to the house and that's what I'm doing here and you'll see that I do like like flowers and like quite large flower beds and I think in a little bit you'll see me put down a fountain 
yeah, I didn't really know like what I wanted to do when I was building. I was kind of thinking, well, the garden's pretty big and it's like a front garden. I didn't really want to include a back garden. Um, I thought in terms of like pictures and stuff, it might look better just from the front um, because the back, like the shape of the house and stuff, it's not like that interesting. And I knew that I wanted the path to lead off from that bit, like where I've built it in the world. But then I was kind of thinking, well, if any body like downloads it and they place it in a totally different like on a totally different lot it's not really going to make much sense so if you don't place it on the lot that I placed it on I can't remember exactly which one it is I think it's just it's just one of the 40 by 30 lots in Newcrest but if you obviously place it somewhere else you might want to rearrange the path maybe yourself I don't know or you might just want to keep it the same um but when I was like building the house I knew like when I was doing it off camera and like planning it out and stuff, I knew that I wanted to have like a path leading off from like the street and then have like a gate, which I don't think I built the gate on camera because I forgot to add it until like right at the end when I was playtesting and I realised that I wanted to have a gate uh, leading on to like the property and stuff. So yeah, I had to look at um, reference images and stuff for this type of style. Like I said, where I live, you don't really have houses like this. I'm not sure if ranch style is like an actual style in America or anything like that um I, I guess it is I mean it ranch I don't know I'm not entirely like it's not like I'm like educated on like architectural styles and stuff I just kind of know like what interests me but I think the images that I looked at were based on like homes that are in America and stuff um so yeah I knew that I wanted this type of style just through like looking at pictures so yeah that's why I asked on Instagram and obviously this was the mo most popular option. Like I said, it ended up turning out to be like bigger than I expected. Um, I don't know why, I think it's just because I did the outer shell and like the roofing and stuff. And I knew that like, I liked the layout and things like that. So yeah, it ended up just being bigger than what I planned. To be honest, I'm not really that good at furnishing larger homes. Um, I, I mean, I like the look of them, but I tend to like run out of ideas of like how to fill the space. And that's even more so when it comes to base game because there's less like things to add in. So obviously, say if I wanted to include like, I don't know, like certain activity things or like skill objects from packs, obviously don't have that uh, as an option really to use. So yeah, it was a bit difficult to fill the space. When I was doing the living room, I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know what to put um down you'll see in a little bit when we get onto that I'll kind of talk about how I furnished it and the things I came up with and stuff um and the rest of the house and that um but yeah for the garden it's pretty basic I didn't want to add too much just like a few flower beds if your sims want to do any like gardening I didn't add too many just because I thought well I guess in terms of what's already there it kind of already looks like they've done a ton of gardening I included like that rose bed thing because I kind of imagined that the sims that live here like take a lot of pride in the garden and I don't know there's something about rose bushes that just make me think that if somebody has them they obviously take a lot of um not pride but a lot of interest in the garden and stuff because looking after roses it takes a lot of work like year-round work that you've got to put effort into and stuff so yeah it kind of makes me think of that there's like a I think there's like a film where somebody's like taking care of roses and I'm trying to I can like imagine the scene but like the mum of the family is kind of like obsessed with like pruning them and stuff I think it's oh I can't remember I think it's American Beauty but I might be wrong with that it's the one that's got um Kevin Spacey in which I mean don't go and watch it if you don't like if you don't like him I wouldn't be surprised if you don't but yeah um so yeah that's like the whole kind of that's like my I don't know, I'm like rambling on my words now because I've got distracted thinking about the name of that film. But yeah, I'll talk about the interior now, seeing as we've moved on to that. So so for the kitchen, I did this like, is it like a built-in oven? I guess that's the term. Yeah, it will be, won't it? Um, so I did this like built-in oven because I think they look really good. And I think if you had a massive kitchen, you would have something like that because you obviously have like the money to have a massive house. So why would you not have a built-in like, oven that's like that I'm, I'm saying it as though those cost like a ton of money but I, I think they do like if I were to look up the cost of having a built-in oven like installed I imagine it would cost a fair bit so yeah and I don't think they're like super common in 
I guess like regular like British houses and stuff it's normally something that if it's not there when you buy the house it's something that you have to have like installed so obviously it's not functional it's just there to look good so um I still included like functional ovens um there's no real need to have two your sims will just use whichever one they pick they normally pick the one that's closest to the fridge um but it don't really matter I guess you could have two sims cooking at the same time but I really built this home for like four sims um of course you can always move in more sims if you'd like to you could change the rooms to like other bedrooms but yeah so I wanted to include that just because I think it looks good um it does actually clip through the wall because of the placement of it but the next room like behind the kitchen uh is going to be an office so there'll be like bookshelves that cover it up so yeah um I wanted to include this like massive island counter just because I think if you've had a big house you would have one of those um I always kind of wish that I could have like an island counter I think they look really like good um I mean I probably wouldn't have one this big if I ever I, I mean I couldn't live in a house this big it would be too much way too much like imagine the upkeep of like cleaning it and stuff um I don't obviously because this is base game I'm not really thinking about like the bus the dust kit but I don't play with it anyway um, so I think if I play with this house in my game, I would definitely turn that off if I didn't usually because it would just be a nightmare, You'd just be constantly cleaning. Um, I wonder if they've actually updated that as well because I know there were a lot of problems with the bust the dust kit. Like the, if you don't know, they like released kits for the Sims. They're basically like smaller versions of stuff packs. You probably know by now um, all about that. But if you don't, yeah, there were a lot of problems with that. Um, and it's really like, I want to say like it's bugged because it doesn't seem like it's an, in an intentional thing but just like the dust accumulates really quickly and you get those like dust bunnies really fast you get like loads of them and really frequently and stuff and because they can like search for things and they can like get your money in the house it's obviously not really like I don't know I guess realistic because you could just get rich off like having dust bunnies like you seem literally wouldn't even have to go to work because even if they don't find your simoleons they like find items that sell for like thousands and yeah it's just a bit like ridiculous I think they said that they were going to update that so I wonder if they actually did I'm not entirely sure but uh yeah either way in real life this house would be like a right nightmare to clean I wouldn't be living in a house this big so yeah so like I said the kitchen's pretty big um again struggled with like filling the space I don't normally include bars in my builds just because I don't really play with them um because I tend to play with my sims mostly at home like my sims spend 90% of their life at home um on the home lot at least obviously aside from going to work and school and all that but um they don't normally like go anywhere to any like community lots or anything like that so when I want sims to actually drink the juice as they call it in the sims but if they wanted to go drinking or whatever um, I tend to just use that as a way to send them out of the house because otherwise I would never leave if I just had a bar in uh, the home but I figured because this house is so big um, I guess it would have a bar and I didn't really know what else to put there so I guess I just put that bar down and we're just like yep that'll do and then for the living room I ended up doing this like big fireplace thing with like the built-in cupboards and stuff uh, I also added a, like my own kind of chimney to it um, which is a good way to like if you if you only have a base game and you don't like the look of certain things like say for example either side of that fireplace I just put those uh, cupboards which are actually like kitchen counters like the countertops not countertops like the upper counters if, if that makes any sense they come from like the I don't know like the kitchen cupboard section in the catalogue so yeah, um, if you obviously wanted to fill that space but you didn't want two bookshelves because you think it looks too repetitive and with base game it's a bit like, well, you know, I've got limited options, then I find like doing stuff like that can really like change the look of a build and it can make your builds look a little bit more versatile and, you know, you're not doing the same thing over and over. And obviously if you think about all the different uh, counters and stuff, um, you can get like different uh styles and stuff so you could get like a modern version of what i've done there and also there's like obviously that like more traditional style and yeah and then you can just fill the shelves with whatever you whatever you want to like fill them with and then the same goes for the chimney i think a lot of the 
base game chimneys just look really horrible. I think they're a bit... I don't know, like, a, there's not many swatches of them, so a lot of them have got, like, this brick swatch, which, if you've not got a house made out of brick, it's not going to, like, look right. Um, so that's why I did my own kind of chimney that I just build up um, and then just add the actual chimneys, like, inside it. Um, how I do that is basically I'll do, like, a half wall and then I'll raise it with platforms, like, the platform tool, um, just by using those, like, arrows that you'll see on... Like, if you press, like, the bottom of the floor of, like, the chimney, I hope this makes sense, um, then you can, like, raise the level of the, the ground and then I'll just place the chimney on top of that. Obviously, because it's a speed build, you're not, you can't really, like, see that unless you, like, slow the video down or whatever. But um, I've been saying for a while that I want to do um, a building tips-like video, so I'll probably include stuff like that in that video. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress because... Um, I've been, I mean, I've been talking about it for ages now, but it's trying to come up with building tips that are not too complicated, but I don't want to just have like basic ones like, oh, this is how you build a house. Because I think most people know how to build a house, but it's about taking, you know, for me, it's about taking those like building tips and the building techniques to like the next level to kind of make your houses a little bit better for yourself. And obviously everybody has different tastes. So I've been asking people what kind of tips you'd like to see and stuff like that so yeah if you do want to see uh, that building tips video you're always like welcome to comment on my videos just saying what you'd like to see and things and every time that people say oh I wish I could do roofing or I wish I could do landscaping I always make a note of that and think right well I'll do in the video that I'm planning on doing I'll include that because initially I think I was just gonna do just one video on it but I think I might actually make a little bit of like a mini series about it but I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll just kind of figure out what works best um, for that. But yeah, it takes a lot of work planning a video like that. And I want to get it helpful so that as many people can like benefit from it as possible. Um, so yeah, like I said, filling the space out is a little bit difficult for a house this big. I don't know if anybody else struggles with that. I have heard people say that before. So I just decided to put a piano down because I thought, well, what else would they have here? It's just like this big empty space. And I wanted to add something that made sense, but also looked good. So yeah, I added a few like, I added the, um, I was going to say logic table, the chess table and just like a few decorative stuff and like paintings and all that kind of thing. And that little um, puffy, I think it's called. I never know what to call that because I feel like I say it wrong with my accent, but um, I guess it's an ottoman or like a footstool, but Sims actually can sit on it. So for the bedroom, I knew I wanted to do, um, so like the kids' bedroom, I knew I wanted to use a bunk bed because, um, I don't know, I think I'm probably going to use them in every build now that they're there and I want to make the most of them and stuff, especially if it's going to be a house where there's like more than one kids. But even if they're in, like just having, if you could like make a tiny house or whatever, then you just have a bunk bed in there, you can like put a desk underneath it and stuff. Um, I initially just had them in the corner but I figured because this bedroom is a lot bigger than I kind of thought like when I was playing around in it um even though it's quite narrow it is actually quite spacious so I figured if they've got money they won't just have like a one bunk one bunk bed in like the corner so I end up changing that um a little bit later and some of the changes that I do to this bedroom happen off camera as well but you'll see them in the screenshots at the end it's just like rearranging stuff um but you'll see me kind of like figure out that I don't want there to be like one bump bed, I'd rather be two separate ones and then like desks underneath. Because like I said, I figured if you had a house this big, you would have the money to have like two computers, <laughs> which might sound a little bit ridiculous. Like, like that's the staple of being rich, having a computer each for your two kids. But like when I was younger, that weren't something that, like we had one computer and it was a family computer and I played on that. And because I was like the oldest out of my siblings, um, I was really the only one that used it. But as time went on, it were like, like kind of not really like fighting over it. But like, I remember my dad would be like, oh, I need to go on there and like pay bills or I need to go on the computer. Like you're going to have to come off it. And I'd be like playing Sims 2 and I'd be like, like, it's not fair. I need a computer of my own so I can play like the Sims and stuff, uh, which is really the only thing I used it for. And because it was like the family computer, I had to, it was like downstairs. So it went like in my room out of the way. So my parents were a bit like, 
you've been on that long enough now, you've been on it for two hours straight, you're gonna have square eyes and all that kind of thing. Um, so as I got a little bit older, like to my teenage years and stuff, I were able to get like like a fairly cheap laptop and stuff. But yeah, the staple of being rich is is having more than one computer in your house, I've decided. So yeah, like I said, change this round a little bit. And then there's a couple of things that happen off camera. Obviously I do the bathrooms off camera. I normally do anyway, unless I don't know, I do anything different. Um for this one, the main bathroom, I did this like um platform thing I guess I, it was just like half walls then I raised the like floor in and then just put plants on it and then deleted the walls so it kind of looks like a like a big shelf with like loads of plants on it um because I like to include plants in my builds because I'm really into them myself so if I can put them in the sims then I will which again every single time I use plants especially when I'm doing something base game I always think I really want them to bring out um a stuff pack for plants like I think that would just be like really good even if they brought out a kit for it I don't think I'd be too I mean I would prefer a stuff pack just because I think they can fit more into it um and I always see the kits as a little bit of like a money grab and stuff but I mean in a way you could say that about everything <laughs> like of course it's like a money grab because it's a business but either way I just really want more plants so um yeah for the office again I just figured they would have two computers in here um I didn't really have like any sims in mind while I was building this until I got to the office um that's normally how I do my build I'll do the build I mean unless of course I'm like filming not filming creating um a house for a specific sim but it's normally the way the other way around because I do the speed build with like keeping in mind that it's going up on my channel I just focus on the build first and then while I'm building, I'll think, oh, this type of sim would live here. So for the office, I figured uh, maybe a writer would live here or uh, the two parents, because uh, it is a, like a family house or intended to be a family house, the two parents would maybe work from home either as writers or um, maybe programmers or just one of the jobs that they can do working from home. And then for the bedroom, um, again, I just kept it quite basic because... I didn't really know what to put in it. I felt a bit like I was repeating myself when I was putting these like, um, I guess they're called like console tables or like sideboards. Um, and yeah, I just didn't really know what to like put in it. I'd done this like, um, like ensuite bathroom thing and it was a pretty big uh, size and I f figured like for an ensuite, you wouldn't have it like absolutely massive, would you? And I couldn't really be bothered if I'm honest to build like a massive um, bathroom again because I'd done a pretty big one downstairs for like the main bathroom. Uh, so yeah, I just decided to do like a walk-in wardrobe, which don't really function as a wardrobe. There's no dresses in there or wardrobe. There's just like big mirrors and stuff. Um, but yeah, I do that one and then do that one. I do that and then um, this little like corner where it's just I think I, yeah, put like some like gym equipment down and I figured why would they have that in the bedroom? Because I was like really struggling to come up with how to fill the space. Um, so yeah, I just put another console table down. Um, I say console table, I don't know if that's like the right term, but either way, that's what I decided to go with. And the walking wardrobe thing is pretty basic. You can achieve this with counters again. Like I said, if you're running out of like ideas, for like any builds that you do yourself that are built with base game I find using like the cupboards and stuff quite versatile so yeah um we're coming to the end of the video now hopefully what I talked about kind of gives you an insight into the way that I build things um and yeah I guess that's it I don't really have anything else to say you can download this build off the gallery if you'd like to um my gallery id is sims hutch um, all the lot details will be in the description as well as my Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to and I'll see you later. Bye.